Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is flow of charge, types, transfer, charging and conservation of charge. Now let's first understand about the flow of charge. Students, we know that the rate of flow of charge per unit time is called current, which can be easily seen in this example. Suppose we connect a conductor with the help of a battery, you can easily see that the electrons are flowing from negative terminal to the positive terminal. Students, do you see protons over here? No, and thus in metals, the flow of current is only due to the motion of electrons. But in liquids on the other hand, the flow of current is due to the motion of ions. And this charge is either positive or negative. Now let's understand about the transfer of charge. In this, when two objects are rubbed together, the free electrons are transferred from one object to the other. The object which gains electrons becomes negatively charged since the number of electrons are more and electrons are themselves negatively charged, the object becomes negatively charged, while the object which loses electrons becomes positively charged. This can be understood with the help of the following examples. Suppose glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth. Here when a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth, electrons are transferred from glass rod to the silk. Students, if electrons are transferred from glass to the silk, please tell me which will be negatively charged. Yes, the silk will be negatively charged and the glass rod becomes positively charged and thus due to the loss of electrons, the glass rod acquires a positive charge and due to the gain of equal number of electrons, the silk cloth acquires an equal negative charge. If you observe students, the negative charge over here is 6 and so is the positive charge. It is also 6. It has to be equal. The next example is ebonite rod is rubbed with fur. Here when this happens, the electrons will move from the fur to the ebonite rod. Now students, if this happens, the rod will be negatively charged and the fur will become positively charged. The fur loses some electrons and becomes positively charged and the ebonite rod gains same number of electrons and becomes negatively charged, which can easily be observed over here. Now the number of positive charge is 6 and similarly the number of negative charge is also 6. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.